That is literally just a small bit that I could reach here. And look at the eggs, there are zillions. I think they're pretty much done now. But there are masses and masses of eggs. I've never seen, I've never had them do this before, full on spawn. Absolutely nuts. Battered and bruised, looks like you've lost the scale as well. But there are just clumps of eggs floating around like in the water. Ridiculous. So I've just checked the water parameters. Ammonia is obviously as expected gone up, but I expect that to go completely mental by tomorrow. It's, it was down to 0 0.0 two or something ridiculous so not a lot at all it's now at 0.4 nitrite again isn't ridiculous at the minute because it's not caught up with processing ammonia so that is it's very low it's 0 0.05 or something like that not a lot basically but we are going to see that within the next two days go completely mental no doubt I might try and scoop out as many of the clumps of eggs that I can f get to just so they're not in there god yeah that chad completely slimmed out now not so much chubs maybe not so much the bumblebee but yeah not fantastic but interesting though so I've got fresh water trickling in, I might turn that up a bit. What sort of thing we got going on here? I might turn it up a bit, but as we know, I checked the other week. I can actually pretty much run it at full chat with no real issues. So. Anyway, that's where that's at. Just given the coping stones a lick of the seal, I've just finished doing that. Perched on the back was interesting. Go and have a look at that in a minute. In a couple of hours to dry, I might give it another then another coat a bit later on when it's a lot cooler. But it looks good. Happy. What's not to be happy about? Anyway, catch you later. Morning. A beautiful one it is too. One here, turn the tap on. Max flow. Need to do some more water changes today. Because the water in here is ridiculous, obviously. And it absolutely stinks. Oh my good days, look at the state of that. I can't even really see the fish. I've scooped out as many of the eggs as I could, as well as the fish scales. That's obviously from Frank. And quite a few of them. There's a quite a few came out of the waste actually. Oh, that's not doing any good there, is it? Put that in here. Who came out of the waste on the easy pod? Oh, that is rubbish. What is going on? There. Yeah, a few came out of the waste from the easy pod, which just at the minute. Well, there's a load of eggs in there that I was scooping out yesterday. And a 
I'll put some new media in here, but this is the state of the water. That's all I'm going to do. In fact, I might as well clean the easy pod. The way I've been doing this, shutting that down, taking the plug out, which I think is that one. And then because it's pump fed easy pod, that's the level. And then I've just been putting my hand in and giving it a move about. It's disgusting. And then the waste is here. In fact, I'm going to let a bit out now, it's a bit too high. There, like that. So, just putting my hand in, giving it a zigzag down to clean it. I've not got an air pump connected to the end of this, I've got none of the EA pipe stuff. Times it's minging. I was actually bucketing some of that up and putting it on the garden, but can't be bothered with that at the minute. Oh my god, look at the eggs! That is thousands in there again, still. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my goodness. Here we go, there's another, another scale from a fish. There's a smaller one. Bloody fish. So, yeah, God knows of the exact damage. I can def I've definitely seen a few scales missing off Frank, the bigger chag. chag. But, um, yeah, the real damage will be when I move them. Well, get a bit of clarity in the water will be good, but then probably moving them back, which will probably happen at the same kind of time next week. Because new air pump should be here Monday. What else was I waiting for? That's it. A bit scared about that, like I said earlier. But it'll save me having to do ridiculous amounts of water changes here. If I get them back over there, the water's good, so I can transfer all the media over then and get the fish over. Right, anyway, I'm going to continue cleaning this out. Might get me wash, get the end of me hose thing in it as well, just to give it another blast out because of the amount of junk that's in it. Eek. And it smells. Right, catch you later. Thought we'd just have a quick look in here. Oh, it's grim. Eek. This scum everywhere. Again, I put some, obviously, as you can see, some new stuff in as well just to help it seed up a bit. Just everything minging. <coughs> Still a lot of eggs and stuff in here, junk floating around. I've just been watching the fish for a few minutes. Frank's absolutely battered. I um, haven't really seen any others close enough because obviously the visibility is very poor. We've lost couple, two free scales, a couple of gouges on him as well. Again, I think that'll be from the pump because it's in the pond. Here's Francis. I can't see any marks. There's a bit of a scratch on her back. You probably can't even see. Bumblebee looking all right, amazingly. A big Kahaku female as well, so it'd be interesting to see if or how battered she is.
anyway so just a matter of changing a lot of water the next few days to try and help with getting the water back but as I say probably by the time the water starts making any improvement I'd have moved them back over to the main pond which is my aim early part of next week when the air pump comes because there's no reason to not move them then because they'll have a lot more water and I'll just transfer all the media over so it'll be good hopefully so a couple of jobs now bit of a boring job I need to start doing a bit of wheat clearing out beyond the back here not this section but that section over the back right over the back just going to clear all this out got some membrane to put down stop the weeds and just to keep it clear and tight until I've decided what to do Your roof's waterproof. Should be. Plenty of that on it. So that's the plan. Just sort of messing around until until transfer day. I painted the copings yesterday. They come out alright. I want to two coats. few bits that I've missed with my brush but still looks alright, I'm happy with that so a satin finish as opposed to high gloss looks good, well pleased look at that, it's just waiting for fish isn't it, waiting for them and I need to get my UV installed, that is a job to do I think I've got a spare plug socket or my extension lead. I need to get that in because no doubt over the next week or two the water will start to go green, especially with fish in it. But there we go. Right, let's get some stuff done. I'll catch you later.